Hello and welcome to Cat's Eye Fitness. This is week number two of my 15 week shred. So, what's been happening in week two? If you follow one of my programs, these are the kind of things you should be feeling. So what I've done is I've changed absolutely nothing to the diet. What we wanna be doing is making sure we're still keeping that consistency. So the first couple of weeks, you just wanna keep that nice stability to the diet. Eat the same sort of thing every sort of day and obviously get your body used to that kind of calorie allowance. This kind of week, week two, is where you start having those little calorie cravings. Um, so whereas before I was doing my own diets, I used to kind of allow sometimes for those. So if I had a little craving, I think, well, this is so many calories, I'll take that off my calories. The best thing about this diet this time is obviously I'm working with a different personal trainer. So I put the information down here, um, working with Darren Dix, and the best thing about having accountability to someone else is you can't do that. So there's no way that I can actually cheat the diet. I can't say, right, I can afford to have this, this, and this, because that's not his plan. And I want to follow a plan 100%, and that's what I always say to my clients. So sticking to this 100%, haven't caved in one single bit, been consistently eaten throughout the week. Not much changes at the moment, but none expected just yet. Um, like I said, the first two weeks, I wouldn't worry if you gain a little bit of weight. I wouldn't worry if you lose sort of dramatic amount of weight in that first week. It's not what it's about. It's about then consistently eating throughout that for 15 weeks and slowly seeing a drop. We're hoping for about a pound a week from now on. So this is what's been happening this week. Good morning. So what it is today is Monday, start of week number two. And I'm getting myself up nice and early-ish, it's not super early, it's about eight o'clock. And what I'm gonna be doing today is going through my first hit session of the week. So apologies if I look super tired, I always do first thing in the morning, but sometimes you have to get yourself up, go blast your cardio. And that's all I've got today. Today is considered a rest day, so it's literally just a 28 minute cardio session. So that'll be sort of a bit of hit training, um, 30 second intervals, 90 second rest. I'm currently prepping my meals for the week ahead. So as you can see, a ton of chicken in there. What I always find is best is to always cook the chicken first before weighing it. Obviously I've cut all the fat off. I'm then gonna cook all the chicken and then it's already cooked. And what I'm then gonna use on my diet is a weight at cooked weight. So when I actually work out what my macros are, obviously I'll be just using a cooked weight chicken rather than cutting it little individual bits off at an uncooked weight. So I'm just back from my second cardio of the week, week number two. And I'm now gonna show you, when you're on a diet, the hardest things that you have to go through. So look what my wife has made. So you come home, there's cookies on the table, and she knows I'm on a diet. So I think she just wanted me to break early. But you always have to keep strong and you have to push through things. There's always gonna be things in your way that tempt you, and it's about how strong you are, whether you can just say no, and you'll see tomorrow there'll still be the same amount there, I will not cave in. <laughs> 